Welcome to AP Human Geography video on causes of migration. People migrate. It's a thing. In America, people tend to migrate every six years, which is crazy. So why do people migrate at all? It could be because of intervening opportunities, positive circumstances that can change one's migration, or its opposite, intervening obstacles, which are negative circumstances that can change one's migration. It also be because of pull factors, which are positive situations that pull someone into a location, or it be it could be because of push factors, which are negative situations that push someone out of a location. And all of these have one thing in common. They are categorized into certain situations that are economic, social, political, or environmental, also known as ESPN, to remember that. So let's just start out with economics, uh, with intervening opportunities. These could be things like jobs that are closer to where you are already, and of course jobs that pay more. Social intervening opportunities could be access to healthcare and education. Political intervening opportunities could be uh, better crime, better crime rates, like lower crime rates, you know, not more crime, but be uh, lower crime in your area, uh, funding of the police that uh, gets rid of uh, problems in your area. Uh, and then, of course, a better government, maybe a government that's closer to you, if you're in like Europe or something, that works better, or maybe federal, so it addresses minority issues. And then, of course, there's environmental intervening opportunities, stuff like arable land or just land in general. Maybe you want to build a big property, maybe just own land to invest in it or uh, put a business there. And we, let's classify an example with ESPN. So a family plans to move to Texas from Nevada for a safer environment, meaning less crime. But crime rates decrease in Nevada, causing them to stay. This is going to be political. Why? So the crime rates is a political thing. Crime rates are going to lower because of maybe uh, a police force enforcing the law. People are like, oh, wow, I can get really big in trouble for this. So they're not going to do it or they'll do it somewhere else. In Florida, when they increased the fines for DUIs driving under the influence, we saw DUI rates drop dramatically. Now let's get into economic intervening obstacles. So we're going to get into obstacles now. So no money at all, losing money, or just downfall of the economy is going to be an intervening obstacle. Uh, more, higher prices for stuff. Maybe transportation's higher, or maybe rent at a place is higher. Then there's social intervening opportunities like discrimination against your race, ethnicity, uh, sexual orientation, maybe your religion. Political intervening opportunities could be uh, limited access to passports or visas or just war. And then environmental intervening obstacles could be ocean crossing or other water boundaries, mountain ranges, river to ford, valleys, sometimes plains because of weather. We can Let's classify an example with ESPN. So a man plans to move to New York to pursue a career in acting, but in 2008, they couldn't make the move to a global financial crisis. This is economic. The global financial crisis in 2008 uh, did not decrease prices for things. Actually, uh, sales actually decreased. However, cost increased. So maybe they wanted to move there. However, rent increased or was too high than what he could afford. Maybe he got laid off by his job. 2008 had a big impact on the world because of global interdependence. Now let's get into pull factors, starting with economic. So this could be things like lower tax cuts, or no, sorry, not lower tax cuts, more tax cuts, uh, more jobs in an area, uh, and just, of course, a better economy. Uh, and then sale for land. And then social pull factors could be stuff like access to health care, education, and equality. Political pull factors could be uh, a judicial system that works, enforcement of laws, a good police system, or maybe the ability to vote, safely vote, and vote for who you want to vote for. And then, of course, freedom, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, all that kind of stuff. And then environmental pull factors can be arable land, access to clean water, no pollution, no uh, natural disasters like wildfires, uh, safer from those uh, all bad things. <laughs> Uh, could, you know, be a pull factor for an area. All right, let's classify this example with ESPN. It's a map. It's access to dental care in the region of Texas. This is going to be social. Dental care is basically health care because your teeth need to be healthy. So this is going to be social. Now, I want you to look for a region in Texas that's going to have this as primarily a pull factor. This is going to be in your eastern area. On the key, the map key on the left, Yellow and orange means easier access to dentists within 20 miles. And we see this uh, within our eastern area of Texas. If we go to western, some places, they have to travel over 60 miles to go to a dentist. That is insane. 
Now let's get into push factors, starting with economic. This could be things like no jobs available in an area, uh, or just people needing a jobs in their area. Maybe they got laid off. Uh, making low money is also one. Or higher taxes, because you got to take money from what you earn and pay it to the government for whatever the heck they use it for. Then there's social push factors, like not ac no access to schooling or uh, health care, or discrimination maybe against your ethnicity, uh, your race, your gender. Then there's political push factors like discrimination and hate towards a political party, cruel, unusual punishments and laws, war, and then, of course, an unstable government. And then there's environmental push factors like natural disasters, pollution, uh, unariable land, uh, and loss of soil fertility, and just unusable soil in general. Drought's also another one of these. All right, let's classify this example with ESPN. So top 50 countries on World Watch for Christian persecution. This is going to be social. Uh, so this is going to be social because religion falls under the social category, even though persecution may fall under political. However, uh, if you are uh, being tracked by the government and they have a warrant for your arrest because maybe you like robbed a bank, that's going to be political because the government's after you for that political issue. Uh, this is social because persecution for your religion is just a social thing, I guess. All right, and that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. There's a scale check on the screen. Answer it in FRQ format. It's on the stuff we just covered in this video, so it should be kind of, you know, in your head. Please subscribe to the video. It really does help me out. And join my Discord server. The link's in the description down below. You can also like the video. All of these stuff I just said is free, so there's no hurt in trying it or doing it. Do it or not, there is no try. Uh, leave a comment with your criticism. I love criticism. I got more AP Human Geography videos. If you guys want to go check them out, there's going to be a card about the video. I got nothing else for you all in this video, so adios.